stay sick alive without to die. That should be the favorite slogan of a doctor. Why? Imagine one thing. Before we start this video, I'm going to explain you the most important things about your nutrition and what happens with your body and in your body by what you are eating to understand how important is the nutrition and what makes us sick. For this, I like to let you understand that this world out there, this system out there, don't want to see us successful. And that's proven. And that was what we discuss in this video. Shortly, I'm going to introduce you briefly to some important major points that can explain this in detail. Ask yourself following question first, before we get started. A doctor, okay, because he's a representative for the health. When you're sick, he makes you healthy again. So it's doctors, pharmacies, hospitals, are health institutes, but it's not because they are not treating health, they are treating diseases. You go to a doctor just when you are sick. And now think about one thing. Is this in the interest of a doctor that you are healthy or that you are sick? What is the real interest of a doctor? The real interest is that he treats you when you are sick to become healthy again, but not to stay healthy because imagine what gonna happen if you stay healthy with you and with him? Both parties we're gonna analyze here and talk briefly about why is this like that? And then you wanna understand why your nutrition is so important and why you cannot follow up with the proper nutrition, why it's addictive and what helps you to overcome all this additional stuff. Okay, great. Imagine now one thing. If you and all the patients of a doctor gonna be instead of twice a year only once a year sick so half from now what gonna means that that gonna means his income gonna be half than now he will have half of the money he will have less money and maybe to cover his expenses for the clinic for the employees for government fees for the vat for however internet and stuff Maybe he have an expense of 60% of the income. So his profit is going to be 40%. And if you drop his income down to 50%, he will be in minus. Bankruptcy and he's going to close. So it doesn't work that the doctors can survive. They need you sick. And that's why I started this video with the slogan, stay sick alive without to die. Because that's what they need. If you are healthy, it's not working. If you die, it's not working. So you have to be sick in between somewhere you know you have to be very sick that will be the best case that you come often to the doctor and he will make continuously money with you if the people will take care of their health the doctors the pharmacies the hospitals have to close in mass and this is a big industry behind you everybody knows study medicine you have a great job you make big money it's a well-paid job health is expensive if you don't have it but health is very cheap if you maintain it. Maintaining is cheap. Repairing is expensive. That's why take care always to be healthy and to take care of your health, maintain it before it's too late. Don't trust in a doctor. The doctor wanna see you unhealthy, not healthy. It's logical. Now you got it. Imagine what happens. I repeat it. I repeat because this is something where we have to break the false beliefs and understand what happens in this world. If all the people are healthy, they don't make money anymore. So the interest is to see you healthy and then them poor without being able to pay their home, without being able to eat. Or their interest is that you, that they have more patience and they come often. All the time the money is coming over and over again. Of course, that's what they are looking for. So that's why, take care. And that's what we are doing in the Motivated Fit program. We make you fit that this doesn't happen. At body time, we take care of your health, that you will be not in need to spend money for getting healthy again after you get sick and diseases, that you spend just a little money to maintain your health, that's cheaper. Why are all these things like that and why they are working? And why a doctor don't gonna advise you to eat right? Of course, if you ask him it's good to eat vegetables, he will say yes, because otherwise he will say, oh my God, this doctor don't, don't know anything, I go to another doctor. It's a stupid doctor. Of course, they will tell you, but they will not advise you, just if you ask. You know, do you, you, you see any time that the doctor asks you, what are you eating? Are you eating for breakfast? Do you eat five meals? Do you have three meals and two snacks? 
Do you exercise? They don't care about these things. Okay, open your mouth where it's hurting. Okay, we may have to make this test, this test. Okay, here, the prescription. Go to the pharmacy and take your medicine. And hopefully see you soon again. That's the truth. So guys, open your mind. The food makes us sick. The food, what we put in our body, brings us to the doctor. That's why take care of your food. And now we come to the food industry I was talking. And that's also my conspiracy cycle where I explain in the quarter these four parts that you can see here, you know, the financial powerhouse. And that's the world in that we're living. So the food industry makes us sick. That we go to the doctor to take a prescription. We go to the pharmacy and then we end up same, repeating the cycle. And the last point of the powerhouse, of the financial powerhouse, is that the educational system teach us to do exactly like that and teach us to work in this cycle, in this system that's created, that don't let you be successful, don't let you be healthy. They don't want to see you healthy. They don't want to, they don't want to see you healthy. They don't want to see you successful. They want to see you sick without taking decisions without achieving something, because then you can become dangerous for the elite who is controlling the world. And that's why it's a conspiracy and it is and it has to be like that. We have the food, doctors and medicine, we have the pharmacies and the educational system and we're rounding and rounding and rounding. And that's why you will never escape from that if you don't take action and change your nutrition. And now the system is made very smart. Imagine why you cannot, why you have temptations for chocolate, for all that carbs and for cravings for carbs, you know? Why you have that all? Why you cannot resist? Because they're highly addictive. The food industry on the top is making all our food 95% of added sugar. Everywhere is added sugar. Sugar is not an illegal substance, it's legal. So you are allowed to use sugar. But the crazy thing is, cocaine is not allowed. And sugar is eight times more addictive than cocaine. How can be that? That's crazy. That's why it's a conspiracy. And that's why you are in danger if you are not aware about what happens. And this video is that you get aware about exactly what happens in this world and can start taking action to go from your wrong path with your wrong beliefs to change it to the right path with the right beliefs, to break these wrong links what you set up in your brain for health and set up with the right links for the health. And this is what we are doing in the Motivated Fit program together. And I recommend you this video is a mind opening mental video to watch it a couple of times that it goes in your head because your habits, your routines are used already from the past that you think like this. If you think already 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years like that, a short video of a couple of minutes cannot change that immediately. That's a training what we have to do. And this is what we do here. That's why follow up with all the videos, what I'm posting, even on my YouTube channel and Instagram, get subscribed to my social media that you never lose one of my important informations that gonna definitely change your life from a bad life to a good life. And that's what we're going to do here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it opens your eyes. I hope you know now the importance that you can eat clean. And I hope that you believe me, that's not difficult at all. It's just difficult because it's addictive. It's like alcohol, cigarettes and drugs. But if you go away from them, just one day, don't touch them, a second day, the withdrawal syndromes will disappear for sugar in the first two to 10 days. You have to be strong just 10 days maximum. And then you will don't have cravings for carbs anymore, definitely. It's just the time to get rid of them. Be strong the first 10 days, cravings will disappear, will not crave anymore, no withdrawal syndromes. And yes, at the beginning, because of your brain, it's used to get the source of energy, fast energy, glucose, you know the sugar it will be like of course you will have withdrawal syndromes you will have like you will feel like you have a flu you know you, you are shaking maybe you will sweat your blood sugar goes maybe down but you have to be strong a short time and then you will be stronger than ever before you leave the weakness and go on the right path for st strength and success and achieving everything you want in your life well guys this was 
everything about what you need to know about doctors, the right food, the conspiracy cycle also on the top, how to get rid of the bad food that makes you addicted and how to start now believing more that you can do it and you can live healthy without giving up your favorite food because we're going to eat what we love. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.